Okay. Greetings to you boys and students. God bless you. I hope you are keeping safe. It's time for another uh, YouTube video and online class. Today we shall be discussing irritability or cell reactions to its environment. Irritability or cells reaction to its environment. What do we mean by irritability? You know, uh, but before then, I'd like you to know that one of the characteristics of living things is to respond to stimuli. Stimuli can be external, it can be internal. A stimulus is an environmental change which induces or brings about a response in a cell or an organism. An instant, a stimulus is an environmental change and it brings about or induces response in a cell or an organism. Example of stimuli include light intensity, light intensity, temperature, hydrogen ion concentration, okay, presence of chemicals, concentration of oxygen. All these are what we mean by uh, stimulus. Organism show irritability or sensitivity, sensitivity in a variety of ways. The ability of living organisms, the ability of living organisms to respond to stimuli is called irritability. Ability of living organisms to respond to stimuli is what we call irritability, and which is very advantageous to the living organism. We have three of them. We have tropic or tropism, nastic or nastism, tactic or taxism. Okay, now let's move on. Tropism or tropic response is a bending growth movement by a part of the plant in response to a directional stimulus. Part of the plant to a directional stimulus. The stimulus to which plant responds to in the way include light, growth, touch, water, and chemical substances. A tropic movement is described as positive or negative, depending on where or depending on whether the bending movement is towards or away from the direction of the stimulus, respectively. If it is away from the direction of the stimulus, it is a negative response. If it is towards the direction of the stimulus, it is a what? Positive response. So we could have positive geotropism, okay, and on and on like that. This is a very good example. This is a table here. Stimulus, name of tropic movement. We have gravitational force. The name is geotropism. Unidirectional light. Okay, the name is phototropism. So like when sunlight shines on a plant, that's phototropic movement. That's phototropic movement. Concentration of chemical. That's chemotropism. Water is hydrotropism. Heat is thermotropism. Water current is rheotropism. Electric current is galvanotropism. Touch is sigmo touch tropism. Sigmo tropism. On and on like that. Now, examples of tropic responses. Stimulus, name of response, examples. For example, water. The name of the response is hydrotropism. That is when part of the plant responds to water, the stimulus of water. Roots bend towards moisture, positive hydrotropism. Why should bend away from it? Negative hydrotropism. I told you it would be positive if it is towards it. It will be negative if it is away from it. Touch. Sigmotropism is the name of the response. Examples. Tendrils of a climbing twine around the support. That is a positive response to touch. Positive response to touch. <coughs> go away from it. That is a what? Negative response. Negative response to touch. Light. The name of the response is phototropism. Examples. Shoot of green plants. Bend towards light. That is positive phototropism. Of course, the shoot, there is difference between shoot, stem, and shoot and stem. Um, the part that is above the roots is the shoot, while the stem is the part that is above the shoot. The part above the roots, the root is in the soil. The one that is above the root is the shoot. The part that is above the shoot is the stem. So it is still that same part but different parts. Still that same tree, okay, but different parts. Now, gravity. The name of the response is called geotropism. Examples 
okay, we have shoot of brain plants bending away from gravity. That is negative geotropism. While roots bend towards it, the root bend towards that's what? Positive geotropism. We move on, okay? We have nastism or nast nastic movement. Nastism is a type of response in which a part of the plant, a part of the plant, moves in response to non-directional stimulus. Move in response to non-direction, non-directional. The other one for uh, tropism is to a directional stimulus. But for nastism, to non-directional stimulus, to non-directional stimulus, such as changes in light intensity, temperature or humidity. Okay, so when there is a non-directional stimuli, when the plant moves to in response to a non-directional stimuli, such as changes in light, intensity, temperature, or humidity, you call it a, you call it nasty. The end. Response movements are also non-directional. Examples of nasty movements include we have the infolding of the leaflet of the mimosa plant when it is touched. Okay, we have the closing, closing, not dozing, please. The closing of the closing of the leaflets, the closing of the leaflet of the flamboyant trees, that is, uh, sleepy movement due to low light intensity, is nastism. Closing of the morning glory flower, when the light intensity is low, is low that's what nastism. The petals of sunflower, which opens in the light and closes in the dark, petals of sunflower, close, opens in the light, closes in the dark, that's what nastism. Um, we have um, tactic response or taxism. Tactic response or taxism. <laughs> the movement of a whole organism. Movement of a whole organism or a clearly moving part of it towards or away from a stimulus. Taxism is the movement of a whole organism. Whole organism. Or a <laughs> of it towards or away from a stimulus. A tactic movement bears a relationship with the direction of the stimulus. A tactic movement bears a relationship with the direction of the stimulus. That is, it is directional. Tactism is a directional movement. Okay, just like nasty, just like tropism, but nastism is undirectional. Okay, it is directional movement to an external stimulus such as light, temperature, light temperature, certain chemicals or water. Taxis in protista. This unicellular organism displays sensitivity, which clearly shows that sensitivity is a property of the protoplasm. Sensitivity is a property of the protoplasm. So uh, the, the, the sensitivity itself is, is known to be ability to respond to a stimuli. Now, protoplasm, don't forget, it is the living part of the cell and it's made up of nucleus and the uh, cytoplasm. So as we are, every part of our body, the cells, work together to ensure response to a stimulus. Now, we have something here. We are, we are considering paramyzone. Paramyzone is sensitive to dissolved chemicals 